Good evening. Welcome to another episode of Xiao Talk Show. And today I'm going to do a live coding of JavaScript. I'm going to. You see, look at this page.、Uh, look at this page. You see, so this page is about arrow keys efficiency. Vim, HJKL versus IJKL. You know how in Vim, you know the editor Vim, you use the、um, HJKL keys as arrow keys, cursor movement keys. But however, a typical arrow position,、uh, you know, on a standard PC keyboard is like inverted T. So and that maps to IJKL on QWERTY layout, IJKL. So you are wondering, you know, which one is more efficient? Is HJKL like the Vim style or IJKL? So we are going to find out. And so on this page in my essay,、uh, you you can find it on the web. Here's the URL. Here's my local version, xali.info. You just search it, search the title.、Um, then,、uh, so we are going to find out. And on this. Page. I have an essay that discuss how do you compute the efficiency. The you know how do you calculate the efficiency? And you can see, you know, I give you、um, you know basically you assign a score to each key based on the ease to press the key. For example, the index finger and pointing finger would be would have highest score. And also keys on the home row, such as you know JKL,、uh, would will have higher score. And for the I, for the key I, you have to move your finger up, so that's lower score. For the key H, you have to move your index, I mean your pointing finger, index finger to the left, so that's even lower score. So basically, you assign a score to each key. You know the higher score means it's easier to press. So obviously, K would be the highest,、uh, have the highest score, you know. So you assign a score to each key. Then,、uh, then, <laughs> then, 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 basically, that's it. I mean,、uh, well, also you assign the frequency of the need to press those keys. For example. From my Emacs statistics gathered from several people, the most pressed key are the down arrow key. Then that's about seventy seventeen percent of all commands. The second less, the the second most used arrow key is the previous line. You know the up key, which used for fifteen percent. Then the left arrow and right arrow are relatively. Relatively low, you know.、Uh, they have left arrow is three percent, right arrow is five percent, something. So you multiply the frequency of the 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 need for the arrow key by the score of that key.、Uh, then you sum that you sum it up, you add them up. Then what you get is the total score for a particular arrangement. You know.、Um, Uh, the efficient efficiency, you know,、uh, for the、uh, key binding. So yeah, again, the question is whether the VI's、uh, Vim's key binding HJKL is more efficient or less of efficient than、uh, IJKL for up, down, left, right. So this page, you know, I give the formula. Then I, you have this、uh, JavaScript code. You can copy it and paste in your browser. And you can find out the、uh, find out the answer. For example, let's copy it. So copy the code, and in in Firefox, I press Command Option I to get me to the console,、uh, the browser console, and I just paste the code, the JavaScript code. Then I press Enter. Then you can you you see the then it prints vi score is three thirty six point something, and inverted t score is thirty six point something. So according to this calculation, to this formula, uh, 
they are about the same efficiency. But however, uh, it is not true if you, you know, so according to this formula, it's about the same. However, you can adjust, if you adjust the command frequency, but because that's, that varies a little bit. Um, but anyway, one thing interesting, interesting is that if you uh, make the up, down, left, right frequency all equal, then the um, then the uh, uh, then the inverted inverted t actually wins. For example, let, let me show you. Let's try that. For example, uh, the command frequency. Okay, let's reassign the numbers to all to one. So one, one. One, one, and uh, run it in browser. Okay, I assign it uh, new numbers. Now I run these two lines to uh, get me the score of the. Uh, let's see. So now I run these two lines. Uh, Okay, copy them and go to browser and paste it. Now you can see the VI score is 3.09. The inverted T score is 3.4. So inverted T is actually more efficient. Uh, and actually, if you consider other issues such as uh, bigrams, uh, such as the frequency of pressing two consecutive arrow keys, not repeating the same key. So for example, when you play Pac-Man, you move, uh, you, you want to turn right. When you are going up, you turn left, for example. So you press up and left. So is that, would that be easier on the IJKL would, or would it be easier on the Vim's H, uh, HJKL? So you have to consider bigrams. Now, if you consider bigrams, then then the inverted T uh, key binding is act, is becomes even more efficient. So, in general, the VI key binding that tradition is actually not as good uh, compared to inverted T. Uh, so, I got four people watching. Great, a lot comment already. Let me pop the comments out and let's see what they are. But okay, so let me t let me talk about one more thing. Okay, so on this page, so so you you notice that when we want to compute the score, you know, we uh, suppose we want to change the frequency, or uh, if you want to assign a key a different number to the key score, it's kind of tedious. So what I'm going to do today is to create a JavaScript web application like you have input boxes where you just type the numbers. And uh, you know, then, then the score will show as you type the numbers, as you change the numbers, you know, I interactively. So that's what I'm going to do today. You know, so if you do not know JavaScript, uh, you know, if you have no idea about web ac applications, this is a good uh, video to watch. You know, good opportunity to to learn something something about JavaScript. And even if you have no interest in JavaScript, it's still a good, <laughs> good thing to learn. You know, it's a, a, as a programmer, it's a curiosity to see how things works. You know, the web application. Okay, so let me. I'm going to do that today. Uh, it'll be thirty minutes, I think. Uh, should should be done or less. I hope so. So let me check the comments. Good morning, Isaac. Good morning. Break the loop. Good morning. So break the loop says, so I went shopping for a good mouse today at Fry's Electronics. Ooh, that's good. And it's hard to find a good mouse that takes everything I'm looking for. I've been using your mouse page as a guide. Okay. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that the mouse market is a bad state right now. Feels like a stagnant market. Really? I don't get that sense though. I think what well, I mean is it seems to me the mouse market is primarily driven by gaming 
market gamers you know and and game gamers been thriving for the past 10 years so because <laughs> you know the, you know the gamers you know they are thriving you know lots of youtubers you know gamer they make youtube videos and they become millionaires lots quite a few of them uh, all they do is play play games all day so anyway gamers and also the mechanical keyboard today is it has become uh, incredibly popular uh, since about five years ago okay so mechanical keyboard is extremely popular and part of the reason also has a lot to do with gamers because gamers is among uh, that drives the market you know the gamers usually you know teenagers they want to play games they, they have money I don't know where their money came from your their parents or whatever they have money they play games you know um, and they buy keyboards and so they and mechanical keyboard keyboard became a thing now of course many programmers such as us or me you know for example we are also very much into keyboards and mechanical keyboard is is a good one but however you know if you if you compare the number of programmers to gamers it's like one to ten or one to a hundred more likely one to a hundred for each programmer you have one hundred gamers or even more so so it is a gamers that drives the uh, the market for mouse and and uh, mechanical keyboards and also so a lot there's uh, I think there's fairly a uh, we could say there's reason reasonably a, a lot innovation in mouse uh, you know they they gamers they they you know, they want fancy technology and lots of buttons so so why um so let me read uh, break the loops question so Kasar, did you go anywhere last weekend when you were offline yes so why so what is the problem with your uh 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 finding the right mouse for you i mean is there anything particular uh you are not finding the right mouse for you so last week so I was offline for two weeks, okay, so, and I went to Las Vegas <laughs> with my roommate, you know, my roommate, I have been to Las Vegas, uh, like 15 years ago, back in 2005, or something like, back, yeah, 2005 or uh, 2006, so it's like 13 years ago, and, uh, so I went to, you know, back then, you know, I, I, I did a talk show, uh last last week talking about las vegas i'm not sure you were here but anyway so las vegas you know i wrote a blog that's an interesting topic um xali las vegas okay just search for xali las vegas you'll find my website las vegas travel log a encompassing travel log on the city of sin Okay, so I was there in 2003, and I stayed in a motel for like about four days. So during that four days, I visited almost every big hotel casinos. And I, you know, go inside, I take photos, I take photos of all the statues and all the, um, all the lamps. You know, lamps is one of the fascinating thing. Uh, you know, all the statues and... <laughs> And, and lighting fixtures why lighting fixtures because lighting fixtures is one of the most fascinating thing you know you know there's a chandelier you know which is a fancy fancy lighting fixture but anyway lighting fixture fixtures you know lighting or light bulbs or you know different lighting technologies such as today's lead or you know fluorescent or uh, you know that always fascinates me so so <laughs> I went to all the uh, casinos and took took photos of different sculptures, lighting fixtures. You see these different uh, lamps, lamps. They are very fairly, uh, you know, uh, uh, delicate, delic uh, delicate, you know, de uh, and uh, decorated, you know, fancy lighting fixtures and all the sculptures. And I tr also tried to find out what the sculptures represent you know for example if if it's a replica of a roman god or roman goddess you know in in caesar's palace you know which is one of the casino 
you can see here Caesar's Palace, you know, Monte Carlo, uh, Aladdin, Caesar's Palace, you know, you got several sculptures of gods and goddesses. So anyway, I, I was ta I talked about this uh, Las Vegas uh, last week or so in, in another episode of some talk show. But anyway, so yeah, I was there in 2003 and you know, I stayed for four days and I gambled, of course. You know, I'm a schizoid and I'm a nerd and I, uh, you know, so when I gamble, it's, uh, well, it's it's like a typical of schizoid, unlike normal people, okay. So what I gamble is like a, kind of like a mathematic <laughs> logician's mindset you know I don't really get excited about you know uh, I don't get emotional you know rather I, I gamble I just want to win so so anyway I did gamble I studied the you know different gambling stuff you know the odds you know use of course it involves statistics and probability which is math and that excites me so anyway, I gambled. Actually, you know, among all the uh, games in casino, uh, uh, the the best odds. If you if your sole goal is to win, okay, the best game to play is the um, is craps. There's a game called craps where you throw two dice, you know, uh, which is actually one of the most. Um, I think it's one of the most popular game shown in movies. You know, you throw two dice. But anyway, it's called craps. So back then, 2003, I won like three, I won a few thousand dollars. I forgot, you know, a couple of thousand dollars. But today, but anyway, so my roommate, uh, they are from China. So they haven't been to Las Vegas. They, they, they want to go. So they, you know, they took me. Uh, so I went with them. Uh, and, uh, you know, so I revisited Las Vegas. And things have changed of course now of course the social justice the rise of the social justice uh, <laughs> has consequences of course you know women's right and uh, right this and that so back then you can see this MGM Grand the theme of MGM Grand the casino hotel uh, back in 2003 it's basically uh, slaves, <laughs> you know. So you got these, you know, and, and it, I would say it's rather beautiful, okay. You know, just in case, by the way, slaves are a tradition of, you know, uh, Asian times in Rome, for example. Uh, but anyway, so, so the MGM Grand Casino Hotel, their theme was basically you can say it's kind of slaves look at this you know muscular guy holding a lamp for you and you know um and then you have that you know uh then you have that then you have that then you have uh that so i went there you know just to check on how things are whether things have changed so all these are gun you don't have this anymore and uh, and also you see this lady dancing on tabletops so back back in 2003 in Las Vegas you have quite a lot of ads like this you know kind of uh, very attractive sexualized females you know whether it's dancing or whether it's something else you know there's a lot of by the way of course Las Vegas is known for showgirls uh, and uh, you know, so there are lots of these ads or um, uh, uh, billboards, you know, so-called billboards, uh, all over the place, you know, showing ladies and stuff. And that is also gun. You don't see that anymore. And but in general, so in general, so you know, you don't have these things anymore because you know, I suppose because due to the you know. I, you know, I, due to feminism stuff, you know, you know, the rights, this and that. Um, by the way, they, by the way, let me just say that they, they are, they disappeared. However, of course, the sexuality, sexuality and prostitution and all the 
very uh, the essence of these things lives you know <laughs> of course they live they thrive more far more more than ever they just hidden from the surface that's what the social justice can you know they that's what they do, are doing they want these things disappear from the surface but underneath <laughs> it's ever more in, 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 uh, you know just like like you know like PN okay I'm not gonna say the word but just like the PN uh, they they um, you know four letters or you know abbreviation of something something nography okay um, that is thriving more than ever two times three times ten times <laughs> you know and anyway so 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 back to the Las Vegas change so these things are gone on the surface and you don't see you know uh, ladies uh, anymore but but some of these are still there uh, for example but anyway so the over my overall impression is that um, it kind of it actually became Las Vegas you know it it is crass to begin with because Las Vegas is you know the city you know you might say it's a city of sin you know uh, <laughs> uh, uh, with respect to conservatives you know with respect to religious pe people it's a city of sin you know the 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 dark corner the the seed you know the uh, ugly things you know the, uh, kind of things like that uh so but on the superficially it's it's like a beautiful and lux luxurious for example like you know they have replicas you know they have a luxor hotel which is which is a pyramid you know a modern uh, building of, in the shape of a pyramid they emulate the egyptian pyramids with you know the luxor hotel so they they also got a sphinx you know like a mini miniature you know so they emulate you know the e egyptian you know the, you know the asian egyptian stuff then you got you got for example caesar's palace you know you have replicas of all these roman uh famous sculptures uh you know asian sculptures 1000 years ago or 2000 years ago uh, you know they are replicas you know uh, modern replicas and you you have this Venetian hotel Venetian hotel which is a, a kind of a miniature or emulation of Venus you know the Venus scenery in Europe you know you have you have this how they how they call that gondolas uh, so uh, you know so but all these are just e cheap emulations you know <laughs> they are they are truly they are just cheap modern technological emulations of the you know of the great art or history uh, you know of the past so Las Vegas is crass that's the word you describe it uh, let's see crass I think that's the that's the word the proper word definition of crass okay so definition of crass means without refinement delicacy or sensitivity exactly gross obtuse stupid yes that that's the word to describe las vegas you know on the surface it's all shiny and luxurious you know <laughs> money money is doing the talking you have money you go there you live in fancy hotels you know girls deliver food to your door or to your to your mouth yeah, and uh, you know all these uh, mini miniature sculptures, miniature you know replicas of uh, ancient you know old art or stuff. Yeah, but it's it's all just a show, as as the you know <laughs> the show business. Um, but look at how much money they spend. This Bellagio Hotel, okay, Bellagio Hotel is known. Uh, with this huge artificial lake in front of the building you see you see how big is this lake uh, it is you know if you walk from one end to the other end it'll take 
10 minutes uh, or 15 minutes uh, so you know so it's big so but by the way Las Vegas is in is is a des desert you know it's a, in the middle of a desert but however they you, you know they put money to build this artificial lake you find you know lakes like this all over Las Vegas like beautiful fountains you know with uh, water flowing smoothly sometimes like uh, over the wall like this one for example for example this is uh, uh, for example this one this surface you see this fish scale surface they are covered by water you know just a very thin water so as an engineer to build this you have to make sure you know the water does not you know it, it the water must cover all the surface so you it must be very level and it, and the surface must not have any any flaws like it must be smooth you know you you, you want to ensure that when the water overflows the entire flat surface it covers the entire surface <laughs> you know I don't know how much water is evapor evaporated but to be sure, you know, I know it's even very expensive because Las Vegas is desert. It's very dry, you know, so, um, but, you know, it's a business and it's a show business. So anyway, yeah, uh, Las Vegas is crass and it's cheap. But however, today compared to 13, you know, compared to uh, 2003, it's worse. Okay, it's worse. The, um, so on the surface, the women things like sexy women on billboards, those are gun. Like I don't see it anywhere. I don't see it. Uh, uh, you don't see it much anymore. The showgirls, you know, there are lots of showgirls uh, shows. For example, in um, you know, for Jubilee, Jubilee is one of the famous you know showgirls. You know, they showgirls. Well, they basically they take off their clothes. You know, it's like a strip tease strip dancing uh, but with some kind of dance and singing uh, you know it, it's called um, cabaret you know so in, in, well depending on the style sometimes it's called cabaret in, in, you know if they have some comedy and stuff so anyway so Las Vegas you have these show girls you know it's a show where these girls half naked girls dance and sing there are quite a few but it's still there of course these kind of things are still there but however you just don't see the advertisements you know uh, as much uh, before uh, so anyway so so yeah and today so Las Vegas it has become more crass and the people my god the tourists you know tourists is kind of like this despicable you know I <laughs> I kind of despise tourists you know like you know the first well first of all they are normal people okay then they go there you know they you know nothing they spend their money they you know they go over well they well lots of tourists of course and they are all dressed sloppily you know um, no like no class sloppily and they do you know they go there they spend their money they have fun um, so did I gamble this time well yeah I gambled $100 on a roulette <laughs> you know put your money down black or red and I won so and that's it so I took the $100 and that's it what did my roommate think uh, well it's, it's fun for them I mean they are not nerds okay they are not nerds nor are they programmers I mean they are they are uh, what you might call blue labor labor laborers blue labor workers so they work in restaurants they are not you know they don't they don't have a college degree for example so you know they go there have fun um so he drove you know my roommate drove uh, we we stayed in a motel so that's enough about las vegas I mean, uh, unless <laughs> unless you guys have questions, I mean, let's maybe we should go g uh, get back to uh, the JavaScript thing. Uh, let's see. Six people watching. 
Okay, so let me read some comments. Um, so did you go anywhere? Uh, yeah, okay, so let me read the comments. Isaac says, sorry, but I hate mechanical keyboards. I can not concentrate for my life when my roommate uses it. <laughs> That's too bad. Well, they make noises, noises too. Well, the best thing is to not have roommates, you know. Make money, move out, own a house. By the way, how old are you, Isaac? How, what, like, what, uh, oh yeah, you are a student, right? Yeah, so eventually, you know, you will have your own house. <laughs> Buy a big house, go make yourself a mil millionaire, you know, as a programmer, you have the, you have what it takes. Uh, and Norman says, I visited Las Vegas in 90s and, 90s and early 2000s for a computer conference. Oh, fun to sightsee. I'm not a gambler though. Yeah, I'm not a gambler neither. You know, I don't, you know, I don't gamble. I, you, you know, unlike, you know, a lot of people, for, you know, for example, they are gambler addicts you know gamblers you know they, they they have to like actually one of my roommate is like that oh my god he's you know he has whatever money if he go to a casino he gamble it all until he have no like like until he has no one cent left then he start to try to borrow money from from you my uh i have another roommate he's like that and actually, uh, it, it seems like a lot of Chinese people are uh, into gambling, like more inclined than, let's say, Westerners. You know, some, for some reason, Chinese people, they have uh, a lot of them, them, they are more, somehow they are addicted to, uh, or uh, they are into gambling. So like, when, if you go to Las Vegas, you see a large uh, Chinese or Asian people. Oh, uh, so, oh, consumer electronics. So opposite of that, they used to have adult expo, I see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I, you know, I suppose they, those are still, you know, going on there all the time. Like the uh, porn industry, you know, they, they always have things. You know, it's not going away. The porn industry is like 10 times more than, you know, I, I've been observing. Okay, let's just... Okay, I'm not going to talk about that topics, but anyway, I've been observing <laughs> it since, since let's say, 15, you know, 30 years ago. And, uh, uh, and you know, it just grow and grow and grow. And in, in fact, you know, if you look at the celebrities today's celebrities on stage you know all the big stars female stars they are basically you know the way they dress um it's 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 more um you know it's <laughs> yeah yeah i'm not sure I don't, i'm gonna talk about that but you know it's more it's more than half naked uh these these uh singers you know these today that's that's today's situation you know Yeah, Marco. Yeah, uh, my roommate is actually from that area. My, you know, they're from China. But let's get back to. Um, actually, we already kind of like spent a lot of time on the Las Vegas thing. Thirty minutes. Okay, so in next thirty minutes, let's hope to finish this. Um, th let's call this JavaScript thing, shall we? Let's see. Uh, so let's go to keyboard. Uh, I mean, I want to go to my. Let's go to this page and let's start to create the application. So open the page, um, open the page and okay, first of all, let's make a JavaScript code. So let's see, uh, go to the directory, uh, change it to JS, linkify and uh, okay, I don't want too long a name, okay. So open it, create new, uh, save those. So here, okay. then I'm 
I'm gonna pop this code out, kill it and close it, and open the JavaScript file, paste it here, okay, and close it, and remove that, show in browser. Okay, so I have kind of, I have removed the code. In fact, the code lives in this uh, JavaScript file. Now, if I run, if I open this in Safari, um, let's see, so I go here, let's close Safari actually, because I don't want to open too many browsers. So I go here, I paste the URL, uh, open the page, and open the console. You can see it prints, you know, the it computes the score. VI score is this and inverted T score is that. You know, it's actually running the JavaScript code. That's good. So what I want to do now is actually I want to create input boxes so people can input the numbers. So, so uh, input the boxes. So I, I'm gonna, let's see, input. Okay, now I don't remember the HTML form. Uh, in order to have input boxes, you need to have HTML form. So I go to my website, DOM scripting tutorial, and HTML form, and go to input tag, okay? Then I copy that, okay? So put it here, let's magnify, okay? And uh, so I have input. Um, uh, J, 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 J. Key J text, uh, max length, max length, uh, one, two, three, four. Name, username, name is key J, J, okay. Same as ID. Value is, let's say, so I need the input box. So let's see, value is j is 0 0.9, okay? Now show in browser, let's see what it does. There, you, you can, can you see that? There it is, the input box. So I created one input box and now in JavaScript, I just need to capture that and put that value here, okay? So let's see the comment. Uh, so, okay, so value, so key, uh, key ID, so how do I get the value? So I on the HTML, I have this input form, which lets people put in numbers. And in JavaScript, I need to capture that um, input form. So I, what I want to do is now get element from ID. Okay, wait. Get, um, okay, I don't remember what it is. So let's go back to DOM scripting. Get elements by ID. That's right. So get element by ID, okay? And uh, documents, okay? Get element by ID, and the ID with, will be that one, okay? And let JJ equals to that. Uh, okay, JJ uh, box JJ, okay? Uh, let's say box J. Okay, so get element by ID. What that does is actually that grabs this HTML element. Then the value would be box J dot value, I think. Uh, does anyone? Okay, so do you guys code JavaScript? I guess you guys don't. Because in, in few of my videos, when I talk about JavaScript, you know, people <laughs> become quiet. Um, 
I know Break the Loop did some JavaScript, but um, so anyway, so I got an element. Then I want to get a value. So how do I do that? So let's go back to DOM scripting tutorial. Then I have an introduction. Change not content. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, Anyway, I, I don't remember. So let's one easy way is to look at my existing code. Then I can just, um, you know, that's uh, so go to Unicode site, go to the diet directory. Um, so search for dot JS. Okay, Unicode pop up search again. So that's the one. Um, so get element by ID and um, dot value that is it there dot value so so dot value will return the value so actually um, so actually I can put it here you know so actually that will work I'm pretty sure so let's try it so back to the Chrome browser, uh, and let's show the console. So now let's reload. Let's reload. Okay, let's try eight. Okay, um, it doesn't work because there is no uh, checking of the event. I need to uh, check the event but anyway so but anyway let's just duplicate these so um, IJKL IJKLH okay so uh, IJ I J K L H. Okay, I J K I oh, I J K L H and I J K L H. So that gets me the elements. Of course, we need to add elements here. Paste 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 actually I J K L H Okay, let's show in browser. Great. Now you you can see we got these uh, boxes. Now the name is incorrect. Let's put the name. Uh, key I. Okay. Key J. Okay, so wait, need to close that. Okay, key J. I J K L H. So go back to browser, reload. Okay, now that's better. Now again, uh, there is something. Let's make it a list. Okay, go back to browser, reload. That's better. I J K L H. Okay, 
and now let's change the values so ij i is 0 0.8 by default okay so by default 0 0.8 j is uh, 0 0.9 okay uh, k is 1 okay k is 1 l is 0 0.7 okay h is 0 0.5 okay and let's reload let's see the score will be different okay should be no okay something is wrong uh, type text size 20 uh, size should be size should be 4 so size means the width of the text display so let's say 4 uh, oops wait um, Okay, and the uh, value Oh yeah, yeah, so the score remains the same because we did not change the numbers But however, let's see if we change the numbers for example, let's make H key a heavy penalty So instead of instead of 0 0.1, let's make it 0 0.1 you know heavy penalty for moving the fingers sideways then so refresh okay uh, I'm not sure it worked so oh yeah it didn't work obviously because we did not change we did not change the value here yet so let's do that uh, Copy Okay, so box I J K I J K L H. Okay, let's try it again. Yay, so it actually worked. You see now user can actually change the numbers and uh, recompute. So but however if you if I change the number here uh, let's say if I change it to 1 there is no event I did not set up a event so that when I press enter it will recompute it. I didn't do that so so therefore it does not recompute. So I need to do that. Uh, in order to do that we need to um, so you need to set up a event listener uh, but first of all um, uh, let's see how we're gonna do this so command frequency uh, let's remove that so on submit on submit we don't want to answer it on change we want to um, so whenever this this uh, value changes we should do a computation so so we want to set up a event so that so when it when the value changes we want to call the function to compute it so actually uh, so let's yeah so let's do that uh, add event uh, okay add event listener okay and uh, box I okay add event listener uh, and I think it's on change so now we need to look at the event name uh, to see which one is for change you know uh, DOM you know web scripting the DOM is a mess so what is an event name so let's see you know there are hundreds of kind of events 
uh, a mouse mouse click mouse hover you know mouse left button push mouse left button up you know and right button middle button and you know scroll scrolling all, all kind of change window size everything is an event so right now our task is to get the uh, event name when a uh, value changed so we can find that by uh, let's see dumb dumb uh, what is object uh, no, uh, add remove event handler so let's see here so I have a link here list of event names which is a Mozilla page uh, you know Mozilla is good in this way there are hundreds of events you know so let's see resource events no network events no focus events uh, no uh, web socket session history CSS animation CSS transition form events yes but uh, text text composition view event clipboard event key event um, Mouse event, drag and drop event, media event, progress event, storage event, up event, value change event here. Um, so let's see which one value change. So break, break the loop says uh, there are some very expensive poker games. Yeah. Uh, on line 5, I think you are getting the wrong element ID for box I. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you are right. Uh, IJKLH, okay. Uh, so event, add event, uh, let's add event. okay that's not it I remember it's something on change has change input has change okay yeah it's input so value name event name is input and uh, wait what oh and here is a function so function so uh, compute okay so here's our function name so now we have set up a event for the box I so when it changes uh, the it will call the function compute score and we need to define our function so let's see let's say uh, arrow uh, let's wait okay so arrow function constant arrow function okay uh, compute score and uh, it takes no argument and uh, what it does is okay it basically does this console log Let, let's just say that for now okay so when when this function is called it will just print to the console about the scores that's good uh, that should do it let's try it so this is box i so let's go back to browser and see if it works reload okay uncaught reference error Com compute score is not defined that's correct because if you are using arrow function there's no hosting there's no name hosting meaning that you need to put this uh, before you call it you know the function definition must happen before you call it but also 
I think I got the name wrong. Yes, compute school. Uh, let's let's do that. Uh, well, yeah. Okay, so so we got a uh, compute school. Wait. Wait, 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 hold on a second. It's, uh, oh yeah, compute score, wait, um, uh, print. Um, let's, uh, print it. Let's say print it. So when the event changes, it will call printed, and the printed actually will. That's right. The printed function will actually call the compute score function to actually compute a score. Uh, so that should be it. So if we reload, reference error printed is not defined. Uh, Oh yeah, uh, again we need to move to the top, remember? So let's move it to the top. Uh, we need to... actually put it here and move the event to the bottom. So... Now go back to the browser, reload. Now let's try to change this, okay? Uh, 0 0.8, let's say, oh, it worked. Let's say 0. Point, let's say, uh, wait, 11. Okay, the event is working because whenever it changes, it does a print. However, for some reason, the value is not changing because we probably made an error here. Uh, the value is not changing because it's not taking the value 11 there. Um, oh yeah, so I, I think I know why. Okay, so because it's not being updated, because once this document get get an element by ID, then you get a value here, assign it to the key score. The key score variable, hash table, never gets updated. So what you need to do is actually, you need to, well, one way to do is, you know, um, One way to do it is, is is to take out the whole thing and put it here. Uh, you know, for example, let's see. Like that. You know, we are... Um, let's try it. Reload. Okay, uncalled reference error, key score is not defined. Okay, uh, key score is not defined. Yeah, because of obviously. Okay, so let's put the uh, compute score inside the function too. So <laughs> now we are, you know, now we are, right now we are not concerned about correct code code structure or architecture you know we just want to get it to work you know just put everything wherever you know so it works then we will think about you know uh about the structure and stuff so now reload now let's change it to nine it worked yes you see let's change it to 11. You see now the inverted T score is 194. It's way above. So you see. So this means if we assign a key I, 
So suppose the the key I is the is so easy to press that its its score is like ten times more than the others. It's you know then then the inverted T uh, arrangement key binding will be uh, like four times better than the uh, than the VI uh, <laughs> way. <laughs> okay, so that works. Now what we need to do is to uh, add more events. So we we only add a uh, event to one of the uh, box. In the, you know the box I. So we need to add uh, uh, for I J K as well. So I J K L H. So that now we can change any of these number and your work. Uh, so if key K is eleven, now we also got a different score. So now you see, now if we change all of them to the same number, let's say one, let's see what score we get. One, 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 one. You see, uh, wait. No, that's not right. Something is wrong because if if the ease of keys go, oh, that yeah, that's right. Okay, so if all the keys have the same score, ease of press, then of obviously, doesn't matter how you bind the keys, they they have the same score. That's right. So reload. So we've done that actually. So this is not done. This is like only half done. So we also need to add uh, these input boxes for command frequency. So that users can adjust, you know what, you know depending on his or her, um, you know his way of thinking, which key is used more often, you know de depending on his statistics. So so people can adjust that command frequency. Then that's good. Basically, yeah, we we need to do that, but. Um, yeah, well, there's well, it won't take too long actually. I think I don't think so. We, you know, right now we are just doing this quickly, but we eventually we need to refine it. For for example, so that these boxes are aligned in in the in the shape of the layout. You know, I J K L and H over here, so that you know, so it's easier to see. Uh, also, it would be nice to plot. A graph, a chart. You know, um, uh, when people type, you automatically uh, plot it, like two bars. The higher, higher means better. But anyway, let's fix this uh, key I frequency. So, so let's um, key I. Okay. Okay, so I added four more boxes for key frequency. Uh, okay, so I need to adjust that. F, F R E Q U E N C Y space. Oh, actually, not there. Uh, So you can see key frequency, and uh, we need to adjust the key frequency. Let's do that. So key f command frequency, uh, up, down, left, right. So actually, all these are wrong.
left, 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 right, 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 right. Up, down, left, right. So switch to browser, reload. You see we have key, key frequency for up, down, left, right. That's correct. And uh, what, should be, sh what should be the numbers, the default numbers? They should be something like that. Uh, Let's, let's say uh, let's say uh, 15, 17, 3, 5 15 17 3 5.5 5. okay refresh browser okay now, um, now you see when we refresh the browser, it doesn't do a computation. We actually need to call it, call the printed one time uh, to compute it. So actually, let's call it here. So print it, uh, call the function. You know. So back to browser, refresh. You see now it works. So now let's try to change. So let's say up key is used ninety nine times. Okay. Now we again we need to add events. Um, <laughs> this is you know coding coding is so much work. Uh, so event. Let's add more events. Yeah, we don't care about efficiency right now. Let's just you know get the prototype to work. So event add event listener. This would be uh, box. Okay. So before we can add event, actually we need to add. Yeah, we need to add um, the dive elements to get their ID. So okay, more more work then. Okay, so. Uh, so up down basically up down left right so actually let's delete the key fre frequency uh, so it's simpler up down left right so this will be up uh, down left right left down up so now we got the elements then we need to add event for them um, okay event so up down left right so it will be up down left right so let's hope it works refresh yes now let's try to change the up to 19. Yes. Wait. Let's try to 900. No, it didn't work because the value did not get updated. Uh, that is because, obviously, because we did not update it here. So what we need to do is to go here, command frequency, cut it and put it here that's right um, I'm using Kassar JavaScript mod and uh, I did not implement uh, automatic indentation uh, so yet so that's why I'm doing it manually so anyway so uh, this will be up value okay so this will be up down left right 
okay that should be that should work refresh now let's try change up to 99 yes now let's try change down to 99 uh, key frequency uh, let's change left to 99 okay now let's change right to 99 too you see when when the key frequency is all the same for up down left right you know if you don't assign frequency to the keys then then again the inverted T will be much more efficient than the VI um, the VI style uh, H HJK uh, L so in general the basically the VI style is is uh, less efficient the inverted T is more efficient but anyway so so far um, so far that is you know we have actually we we, we pretty much have this done uh, let's see uh, for watching well okay so <laughs> we have this code done what is left is to actually pretty okay we need to pretty it up actually you know it's not proper to use the console for output you need to add a con you, you need to add uh, the output on the page not you know not in a console console is just for debugging so so let's so let's do that quickly it can be easily done so let's go back to the HTML page and all we have to do is uh, just add a, uh, one more tag for score so uh, so I'm gonna do a dive okay and this is a display uh, display VI score okay let's say that okay so I added this element dive element and the score will be displayed you know over here and uh, invert t score okay so and the invert t score will be displayed over here and they will so these are ids okay and back to javascript um, then i need to get element again vi uh, display okay let's just simplify uh, this vi display t okay and uh, display vi okay now we got these two elements which are this and that uh, and the reason we want to grab the element is that we can when we display score we can uh, put the value there instead of instead of printing to the console so these two lines we will need to change let's um, so vi score so let's just say mm, VI score is inverted T score is okay and uh, and uh, so is anyone still watching am I like doing good am I doing good So display dot vi inner text uh, inner text inner text okay equals two that's it uh, and display t inner text equals two oh.
that's it I hope it works yep um, so let's reload reload okay let's try to change this Uh, it works so you see we don't need the console anymore let's refresh uh, we don't need the console anymore so you, you, you can see the score is already uh, here so key edge is 5 Yep, that's actually that 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 works. Now what's left to do is actually to prettify prettify these. Uh, actually, we can we can try to do that. So anyone is anyone? So are there interest in JavaScript or are you guys all like <laughs> all sleeping? Um, so um, let's see how many people are watching. So you, you know, if you guys are watching, say something. But you know, but basically we are done. So what's left to do is to prettify this page. Let's prettify. Prettify meaning let meaning that I go back to HTML page. Now this instead of a list, I need to um, instead of being a list, I need to make it you know shaped like a inverted T and H there so the way to do that is uh, is is um, via pre tag we can do it with pre tag so let's do that uh, yeah so okay narrow to region uh, remove that remove that remove okay delete or uh, L tag okay then so H first uh, well I first then H J K L okay then the whole thing will be a pre uh, not dive pre okay uh, and actually it, it will be a style style font size 2 rem let's say now widen back to browser refresh okay no worry uh, there's more to do here oh yeah so this needs to be all in a single line okay and this will be like like that something like that okay refresh Oh yeah. Uh, okay, so we are almost good. Uh, we are very good. Key uh, is so that's key is, and uh, let's replace remove the colon. Okay, then I need to remove the key. Okay, and make it capital. Uh, you know, that this is just kind of a hack, just to get idea. But it's not, it's not the best way because you are using the pre tag. Uh, you know it's kind of just works so that's that wait am I still broadcasting or not oh I am okay <laughs> okay well that that's about it today that's about well let me finish just finish um, you know um,
Well, that's about it. So I'll, I'll just finish it offline then. Any any questions? Comment questions? Comment questions? Check, 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 check. Norman, break the loop. Isaac. Uh, let's see what else what else anything so and I'm I need to make these bigger but um, yeah I, that, that, that that's it for today so that's it for today so thank you guys for watching uh, I hope to see you next time bye